Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is ExpressJS full tutorial series for beginners. In today's episode, we are going to learn about a tool called Postman. Postman is a very very important and a useful utility tool for testing our endpoints and APIs. Most of the Fortune 500 companies or maybe be it a startup or a large enterprise using APIs or endpoints, they use Postman for testing. And when you go into any live projects or uh, organizations, you would also be expected to know the Postman tool. After this tutorial, you will be able to understand, use and learn about Postman so it will help you in your applications. Welcome back friends. This is part five of the ExpressJS full tutorial playlist. Make sure you check out the previous episodes if you have missed them. All right, so what is Postman? Postman is a cool tool to do all the API testing. We can make HTTP request or and see the response via graphical user interface of the application. We can also view responses, we can set headers, we can process headers. In most applications, you will also require authentication like setting up headers or basic um, authorization token, <coughs> etc. We can also create a group of API requests, right? And that becomes a collection, right? We can also export collections um, using the Postman tool. And we can all, finally, we can also do some kind of documentation for our APIs just like Swagger Docs. All right, so that being said, let's go and check out our application, test it using Postman, all right? So let's see that now. First, I'm going to open up this and I'm going to close it here. So this is a simple ExpressJS code, which we did it in the previous episodes. I'm sure you guys um, are comfortable with it. If you have any questions to let me know. So now what we are going to do is we are going to run this application and say node index.js. So once, so once we have the application up and running and we are listening on port number 4000, the endpoint is slash get users. Now this is a Postman tool. You can download it freely. It's available and once you do that, just click on new, you would see this screen here. You can enter the URL. So in our case, the URL is localhost 4000 slash get users, right? And the method that we had to set is get, right? So if you see our application, we are saying app.get. So this is a get endpoint. So that's why it's get here. Finally, if you want to set authorization, we can set from here like basic auth, you can pass username, password. If you are doing some kind of a basic auth token, you can say bearer token, you can pass the token and so on and so forth, right? So this is how you set the authorization. Now for headers, you can go to headers and set here, like say content type, right? You can say content type, what type of content you have, say application slash JSON, uh, right? So etc, etc, whatever it is that is depending upon your application specific need. You can also pass some parameters since it's a get call. We can also capture parameters like say you want to send some ID or you want to send some value like city, right? And so on. So if you see in the URL automatically it is processing, right? If you don't want one, just uncheck this, right? So it's pretty cool. You can also post if you are using a post endpoint, you can use post and do a raw data. This is nothing but your JSON data that you will post. You can also use X form encoded value, which means um, let's say you want to pass some data, you can pass it here and like this, right? So in our case, we are using get, so we don't need any post data just yet. We'll cover this. So going forward for all our ExpressJS uh, API testing, we'll use this tool. So make sure you get comfortable around it. So to get back to our basic testing of this code, we have an endpoint slash get users. It will just return you a response, which is hello world. We have app, which is run listening on 4000 port. So our endpoint looks HTTP localhost 4000 slash get users, right? Now hit send and you should see data. So see, you don't have to need a UI or an API uh, UI layer to kind of test your APIs. You can test right here, right? So I'm going to create one more API quickly. And this time I'm going to return a JSON object, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to define a variable and I'll say, let's say 
training obj equal to so, so this is anything it can be anything that you want right training name say express course right uh, active so we'll say true right so this is nothing but just a simple json object and we can return that here and we'll s so the idea here is to show you that we can set any endpoint and we can return either a string or a json object so let's run it again and now you are seeing now let's go here and change our url and say training and hit enter and now we are seeing a json response as an output we see the status is 200 okay this took 41 milliseconds right so you can also see the headers that were sent right so you can see basically all the details if you visually you can you know um, you can see the output that is sent you can also see the request that was sent and the output all right so i, I hope uh, this helps you uh, in understanding the postman tool because going forward for all our api testing we'll be using the postman tool if you have any questions drop them in the comment section in the next episode we will cover routing in expressjs thank you so much for joining i'll see you in the next episode i hope you are benefiting and learning from this series thank you so much